10 companies that secretly control the world. Number 10. Nestle Most of the products that you buy are owned by a surprisingly small number of monopolistic companies. Take Nestle, for example. They own over 8,500 different brands in 80 countries. They start off with the kind of brands you'd expect. Aero, Kit Kat, Milky Bar, etc. But then there are some products that you probably never imagined would be owned by the chocolate giant, such as shredded wheat, Gerber baby food, Hot Pockets, and Purina pet food. They also own approximately 23% of cosmetic powerhouse L'Oreal, which itself owns huge brands Garnier, Maybelline, and The Body Shop. And Nestle isn't the only food company whose reach is greater than you'd think. Kellogg's owns big brands Eggo, Pringles, and Cheez-It. PepsiCo owns Quaker Oatmeal, Cheetos, and Tropicana. And Kraft's acquisitions range from Oreos to Vegemite and Cadbury to Dairy Lee. So, how have Nestle used their massive clout? Well, as it turns out, not always for good. In 2013, the company was accused of depriving locals of water in a small Pakistani community by repurposing the local well for their bottled water production company, Pure Life. Number 9. Lockheed Martin With global military expenditure standing at over $1.7 trillion every year, it's no surprise that companies producing and supplying weapons exert a huge amount of power over world events. Lockheed Martin is the world's largest weapons manufacturer. They employ 126,000 people and rake in $69.3 billion a year in profit. National militaries around the world rely on Lockheed. For example, it's the US's largest government contractor, receiving 10% of the Pentagon's funds. They also supply weapons to Germany, India, Israel, Japan, the UK, and numerous other countries, showing the wide-reaching extent of their influence over worldwide conflicts. However, Lockheed Martin's control has spread beyond even this. They spend a great deal of money on lobbying, especially in America, investing approximately $10 million a year into this. They tend to offer their financial support to political candidates who advocate higher national defense spending in order to ensure more investment in their own products. Clever. Number 8. Quanta Computer Inc. Mac vs PC. It's been one of the biggest rivalries of the technological age. When buying a laptop, a lot of people have strong loyalties to one or the other, and it's a battle that shows no signs of dying down anytime soon. But at the end of the day, does it really matter? Macs, Dells, HPs, Sonys, Toshibas? All these laptops come from the same manufacturer, Quanta Computer Inc. Quanta is a Taiwan-based manufacturer of notebook computers and other electronic hardware, which was founded in 1988. The company has an estimated 31% worldwide market share of notebook computers. With approximately 70% of adults in the Western world owning a laptop, this equates to a simply gigantic reach for Quanta. It has also grown beyond laptop production and now has fingers in many technological pies. Quanta has influence in mobile communication, GPS systems, and home entertainment. In 2011, they even collaborated with Facebook as part of the Open Compute Project, which aimed to create more efficient servers, storage, and data center hardware designs. Number 7. InBev It's no secret that alcohol plays a big role in society. 56% of American adults questioned in a 2015 national survey admitted to drinking in the past month. An estimated 88,000 people die from alcohol-related causes every year, and excessive drinking costs the health service a staggering $223.5 billion a year. With such a variety of tipples available, you would expect the responsibility for alcohol consumption to fall into a large number of different companies. But there is actually only one company who has a huge monopoly over the beer industry, InBev. It owns 46% of the beer market in America and has a net profit of $3.4 billion a year. In fact, most of the beers you can buy from a store belong to the InBev beer empire, including Stella Artois, Budweiser, Bex, and Corona. InBev also have majority stakes in other huge companies, such as Grupo Modelo, which makes most of the beers in Mexico. Basically, whenever you're treating yourself to a beer or two, there's a very strong likelihood that your money will at some point end up in InBev's pocket. Number 6. Pfizer The industry for painkillers, antibiotics, and vitamin supplements is currently booming with experts estimating that the global pharma market will reach $1.12 trillion by 2022. This basically puts a large proportion of the world's population under the thumb of the planet's big pharmaceutical companies, such as Pfizer. Pfizer is an American-based global pharmaceutical corporation, making $40 billion in profit every year. It's the largest research-based drug maker in the world, with its products marketed in more than 150 countries. The company therefore has a lot of control over millions of people's well-beings a responsibility that they handled questionably in 2016. The drug giant was fined over $100 million for illegally hiking up the price of an anti-epilepsy drug by 2,600% overnight. This directly affected how much the UK's National Health Service had to pay and stripped 50,000 people of potentially life-saving medication. The production of prescription drugs is the company's primary source of revenue, but Pfizer's worldwide control doesn't stop there. 
They are behind numerous well-known healthcare products such as Listerine and Sudafed, as well as being a massively influential player in the animal health industry. Number 5. Pearson Pearson is one of the biggest publishers of educational material in the world. Despite being based in London, 60% of its sales go to the States, and it operates in more than 70 countries. The company owns numerous educational publishing giants, for example Penguin, Harcourt, and Prentice Hall. Its influence over the American education system is so great that, theoretically, you could be taking Pearson Design tests from kindergarten through to 8th grade. You could study a Pearson Design curriculum using Pearson published textbooks and be taught by teachers certified by a Pearson test. And with such a monopoly over the education sector, Pearson has been able to hike up prices without anyone really able to stop them. Over the last few decades, the cost of textbooks has arguably increased more than any other aspect of education. Yes, even more than college tuition. According to the Huffington Post, textbook prices have increased a whopping 812% in the last 30 years, allegedly because of the reduced competition brought about by Pearson's monopoly. Number 4. ICBC Bankers are ultimately responsible for stabilizing the economy, which ripples through every aspect of our lives. Their power influences everything from the big-scale decisions of governments to the prices of individual food items in your weekly grocery shop. If you combine the wealth of the world's 10 largest banks, you'd have $25.1 trillion which would be enough to fund the entire U.S. government for over seven years. The Industrial and Commercial Bank of China, the state-owned banking Goliath, is undoubtedly the most powerful bank on the planet. It has over $3 trillion in assets and a market value of $215.6 billion, meaning it reigns supreme at the top of Forbes' world's biggest public companies list. And the bank's influence isn't limited to China. ICBC has a foothold in every continent except Antarctica, employing nearly half a million people globally and they have also extended their control by turning other major banks into ICBC subsidiaries, for example, Turkey's Textile Bank and South Africa's Standard Bank. Number 3. Monsanto Monsanto, the American giant specializing in agricultural biotechnology, is estimated to be worth a huge $65 billion. Monsanto has a near total control over the American seed market. For example, they trademark nearly 80% of the corn grown in the country. This may not sound like the most influential monopoly in the world, but corn is actually an integral ingredient in a surprising number of products. Corn, corn syrup, and cornstarch show up in gas, glue, makeup, soap, toothpaste, aspirin, diapers, and even the humble house brick. Despite its impressively diverse market influence, Monsanto has established a troubling reputation. It was described by Modern Pharma magazine as the face of corporate evil. This is, in part, due to its controversial use of GM crops, but also largely the result of their ruthless treatment of competitors. In the 90s, rumors emerged that the company had produced so-called Terminator seeds, designed to sterilize the plants of anyone who tried to patent Monsanto seeds gathered from neighboring farms. Number 2. Disney Over the years, the Walt Disney Company has acquired a few high-profile movie production companies. Most notably, there were the purchases of Marvel Entertainment in 2009 and Lucasfilm in 2012, both of which cost over $4 billion. More than half of the highest-grossing movies in the last decade were owned by the company which shows how tight their grip over the film world is. And while Disney are best known for their billion-dollar grossing movies and their world-famous theme parks, the mass media giant's reach doesn't stop there. Disney also owns, or partly owns, loads of other companies. They own TV networks, ABC, ESPN, and even the History Channel. With the media playing an incomparable role when it comes to public sentiment and knowledge, Disney's vast empires makes them one of the most powerful companies in the world. Number 1. Alphabet Inc. Unsurprisingly, Google regularly tops Forbes' list of the most valuable brands in the world, with a reported revenue of $50.6 billion in 2016. Over 40,000 search queries are made on Google every single second, and YouTube has a reach of well over a billion users, almost a third of all people on the internet. With its algorithms determining what we see online and what information we have access to, the control it exerts over our daily lives is arguably unmatched by any other company. But did you know that Google is actually owned by another lesser-known company, relative new kid on the block, Alphabet Inc.? Alphabet Inc. was founded in 2015 by Larry Page and Sergey Brin, the two founders of Google. So, in a nutshell, Google has spun off from Google and renamed itself Alphabet, which now owns Google. The point of Alphabet Inc. as a new umbrella company is to separate Google's core internet businesses from some of its more ambitious, diverse projects. So the services we all know and love as part of Google, YouTube, Chrome, Android, and Google Maps, are not going to be put at risk by the company's new ventures. Such ventures include research firm The X Lab, which is developing driverless cars, and the Coleco Life Extension Project. So that was 10 companies that secretly control the world.